Good morning students. Today we are going to see unit 19 origin and evolution of life. Last video we saw the same unit in the theories of evolution. Lamarckism and Darwinism. This video we are going to see variation. Paleobotany. Variation, paleobotany and fossilization. Let's see one by one in detail. First one, variation. In sexual reproduction, in which involve meiosis. Reproduction, sexual reproduction is fusion of male and female gamete. The gamete formation in the way meiosis cell division. After the cell division, both the gametes will fuse, that is, this, that is fertilization. That time recombination of genes will occur. This leads to differences in the phenotypic of the offspring from its parent. It shows some differences from the parents of individual. Parents and young ones are some differences shows. These differences are called variation. Variation is differences from found among the individual. For example, different types of mangoes, different types of bananas, different types of cat, different types of dog. These are the variation. Variation is the raw material for evolution. Evolution. Variation is play an important role in the evolution. Evolution would not be possible without variation. No, without variation, the evolution will not be occur. Types of variation. First one, somatic variation. Somatic means body, cell. Somatic variation which affect the body cell it, of the organism. One organism will get some changes in the body organ that is somatic variation. That variation will not heritable. They occur only in the particular organism that is not sent to the next generation that is somatic variation. Next one germinal variation. Germ means gamete cell. Germ cell or uh, reproduction cell gamete this variation produced in the germ cell, that is gamete. They are inherited. Inherited means passed to the next generation. They may present in the ancestor if they occur suddenly. They are classified into two. First one, continuous variation. These are the small variation which occur among individual of the population. They are also fluctuating organism. It will just show sometimes, it will not show sometimes, but it gradual accumulation, continuous accumulation, gradual increase the number of changes in the population. That is example, skin color, height and weight of an individual, color of the eye, etc. Discontinuous, next one, discontinuous variation. These are sudden changes will occur in an organism due to mutation. Already we studied last lesson uh, about mutation. Mutation means in the chromosome structure, 46 chromosome, 23 pair of chromosome. That chromosome uh, plus or minus some um, place, uh, 23 is in one set of chromosome will change pair means two that may be increased three or four sometimes one it changes hmm, leads to variation these large variation are not useful for evolution discontinuous variation will not useful for evolution uh, example short legged on con shape six more digits finger in human etc Discontinuous variation form the basis of mutation theory. 
discontinuous variation will occur due to the mutation. This theory is proposed by D. Viris. Last lesson we studied D. Viris. Relationship between mutation and variation. Mutation and variation are two events involved in the process of evolution. Mutation arises due to the error occurring in the DNA. Error occurring in the DNA during replication or explore of two UV rays or chemical. Mutation leads to variation. Mutation leads to variation. It brings about changes in the individual. One, paleobotany. Paleo means old. Botany means study of plants. Old plants. Study of old plants. See the picture. They are preserved in the stones. Paleo derived from Greek word. It, the branch of paleontology that deals with the recovery and identification of plants remain of geological past. A plant fossil is any preserved part, a plant that has died long back, long means 100 to million years back, that is impression of prehistoric period. Majority of plants, fossils are disarticulated. Disarticulated means it not appear full structure. Only parts of the plant. It's rare to find plants to be preserved as a whole. Rare only whole plant we can see. Importance of fossils. Importance of fossils. They throw light on Paleogeny and evolution of plants. Paleogeny, genetically relative group of organism we can find out. Fossils plant give a historical approach to plant kingdom. Historical, we can understand the type of plants, understand the um, growth of plants with the help of fossils. Fossils are useful in classification of plants. Classification, already we studied. These fossils will help to classification of plants. Fossils plant can be used in the field of descriptive and comparative of anatomy. The structure of plants and function of organs we can study easily with the help of fossils. Let's see who is the father of Paleo Bartman. Pastor Maria von Stanberg is the father of Paleo Bartman. He is the father of Paleo Bartman in the world. He was born in Europe. He established Bohemian National Museum in Prague. And his key is the founder of modern paleobotany. He is the founder of modern paleobotany. Father of Indian paleobotany. Birbal Sahani is the father of Indian paleobotany. He presented his research on two different areas of paleobotany. First one, the anatomy and morphology of paleozoic fern. Paleozoic means that ferns um, maybe in the 900 and million years ago, that is Paleozoic ferns. Next theory, the fossil plants of the Indian Gardwana formation. Gardwana formations mean hypothetical land moss in the southern hemisphere, hypothetical tentative. The Gardwana formation, he proposed, he presented two theory, first one Paleozoic form, second one Hardwana formation. Birbal Sagani is the father of Indian Paleobotany. Fossilization, next topic is fossilization. The process of fossilization is rock-like structure is called fossilization. See the picture, the organism is 
created lock, rock like structure. This is fossilization. Common method of fossilization may include petrifaction, mold and cast, carbonization, preservation, compression and infiltration. First one, petrifaction. This is minerals and silica. Minerals and silica in the sand is penetrate in penetrate inside the organism, replace the original organic tissue and forms rock like structure. This method of fossilization can preserve hard and soft part of the organism. Most bones and wood fossil are petrified in this method. Next is mold and cost. Next type fossilization mold and cost. It replica of the plant or animal preserved in the sedimentary rocks. Sometimes organism gets buried in sediment and dissolved by underground water. Leaving a hollow depression is called mold. Hollow depression is called mold. It shows the original shape but does not reveal the internal structure. Only outside structure shows the mold only. Minerals or sediment fill the hollow depression and form a cast. Some hollow depression will create inside the hollow depression um, sediment or filled it. That sediment will remove, will get the cast. Preservation. Original plants or animals can be preserved in the ice or amber. Amber means tree sap. Often you are seeing drumstick tree um, in, the, in the bark of the tree segregate some gum-like structure. That is resin. This resin is called amber tree sap. It protects the organism from decay. The entire plant or animal is preserved inside the amber. Okay. Compression. When the organism dies, the hard part of their bodies settle at the bottom of the sea bed settle at the bottom of the seabed and are covered by sediment. The process is called sedimentation. Goes on continuously and fossils are formed. That is compression. Infiltration or replacement. The precipitation of minerals takes place which later or infiltrate the cell wall. The process is brought about by several elements such as silica, calcium, carbonate, magnesium carbonate. These chemicals replaced, these minerals replaced the original part of the organism. The hard part are dissolved and replaced by these minerals. Hard part structure, the organism structure alone will be remained. That is infiltration or replacement fossil formation. Next is living fossil. Living fossil means these are living organism. Living organism that are similar appearance of the fossils. Similar appearance of the fossilized distant ancestor these organism similar to the distance fossilized organism example ginkgo biloba ginkgo biloba is a plant this plant similar to the fossilized ancestor thank you children once again thank you